Hey everybody, it's Christopher Travels, homesteading with Kelly. How you doing? We're doing great. We hope you're doing great. Anyway, uh, just a little update on things. I'm off for three days. I was off yesterday and today, and tomorrow I'm going to be off. Um, but tomorrow we got to do uh, some stuff not at the homestead. So, but... I've been getting stuff done here, and one a couple things that I've done I'll show you. Um, one thing I did was is I hung these strips. I just took strips of the actual paneling, and I put them there. So when we paint them, we'll just see the strips. So it looks pretty good with the brown, I think, but we're just going to paint them. Um, what else? The table got smaller because I made some sills, window sills, and I'm not done with them yet. And, uh, I did a major oopsie. You see this, um, that angle there and also this angle here. Well, I actually cut this out of one piece going like that and I don't know if you guys know where I went wrong okay so in the corner here it's eight and a half it's eight and a half to the corner right and it's also eight and a half, eight and a half on this side so what I did was and I'll show you over here. So I had this piece of wood. So just pretend that um, this, so this is going to be the corner now. Okay, so this is going to go in the corner. And I was going to try to make it one piece, one singular piece with some tabs that go on the sill. And so in this corner, I don't know what I did wrong, but I measured eight and a half, like I just showed you, and eight and a half, and I cut, I cut this out, and then this went in the sill, and then I cut a little bit off here, um, but anyway, this corner didn't fit when I got it all cut out, and I went to actually fit it in there, I did the corner wrong. So maybe because it's, hold on. So see, it's about two and a half inches that it has a little thing that goes on the sill there. So I guess the eight and a half inches I measured from there, but I should have measured I don't know, but when I went to put this whole thing in, it was too close, too close together. So I had to separate them, separate them. I tried to just cut it diagonal, but it just looked weird. It had like this, you know, empty area there. So I just turned them around and put this corner here. Anyway, and then I had to cut that off because the ovens there and I made this one over here and I used my little router and I sanded it and I don't know what we're going to paint it either we could do poly polyurethane or a color but I'm not sure and I still have to do window frames eventually around here and I'm going to also put, um, like shelves up there just because there's nowhere to attach those. So I'm going to hide that area and put a shelf up there so Kelly could put like her knickknacks and stuff. And that's what I'm going to do there. So, 
Let's see. I guess that's it. And I found some of my tools. Okay, so this is my Black & Decker Matrix drill. I love it to pieces. You push this down and you can take this attachment off. And I have so many attachments. I have the circular saw. I have a router, which I just used. I have that thing. I have a Sawzall. Where did I put that? I have so many tools around here. I have a Sawzall that goes with it. I also have an impact driver. An impact one. So I got four attachments. This drill does all of these things. I also have a reciprocating attachment I can't find it, but it's somewhere around here. <laughs> anyway, I uh, had this battery before, and I just bought two of these, and those have been lasting forever. So I love this drill so much, and I actually had a wired drill same drill just it was wired and uh you know it was more powerful i just can't find that either but it's got to be somewhere around here <clears throat> so the next things we're gonna do we're probably gonna we're definitely gonna paint kelly will probably do that while i'm at work um i've been doing really well um at work I'm, of course, a trainee. I filled out um, for my trainee certificate, and that's in the midst. It takes a couple months for that. Um, so in the meantime, I'm just, they say I'm doing really good all the time, and I'm just sinking everything in, and it's great. So, uh, yeah, I just want to let you know about that. So the next thing we got to do is to clear this you know, and then start putting up whatever insulation we have. I think I'm going to start with the front here and start putting insulation. And um, we'll start doing the roof. And up here, we're, she's going to, we're going to take out all her stuff because all that stuff is going to go in here anyway. It's not going to stay up there. And we're going to actually uh, close that off and just let it be open to whatever there's a vent over there and speaking of vents there's also a vent because you know these are sheds so there's a vent up there i'm going to close that off and i'm going to put some in insulation up there and we're going to go ahead and panel that as well so um i guess that's it for now uh <laughs> so this is the place yay it's getting there slowly but surely so thanks for being with us live life to the fullest we'll see you soon bye